third and ten here for Buffalo on their own side of the field. They bring a blitz, and it's caught and dropped. Esther, top of your screen. Quick option here. They're going to get it out to Mobley to the edge. He has some room. He breaks a tackle. Nice run there for Tommy Mobley. Kyle, you are insane. We love you, man. Elite. All right, second and 13. They're going to take off this time. A lot of room up the middle and a big hit. Marcus Smith, though, gets the first down. Minnesota moving the rock a bit. And he has time. And, oh, he's sacked this time. And that's another drop. So we've yet to remember, he has a couple freshman receivers. He has CeCe Schuster. He also has Gene Jackis and Belle. So some unproven guys. And a nice return here. Oh my, that was almost a that was almost a long game. Jason Fisher. It's a little rough. Alright, we're out empty now. Third and eleven. And it's step up. He sacked again. Alright. First and 10 here for Buffalo. Dale Shivers finally getting the rock again. He gets a big hole, and that's going to be a first down. And he throws that out of bounds. Oh, so a one for five start here for Sean Hill. Nothing doing for Buffalo. Third and 10 now. They got to throw it. Split backs. Pick up the rush. He's stepping up, and he yams this one deep, and he has a man. It is intercepted. That's Cassius Dreyer. See if they can get a first down here. Hand that off late. He sh shakes off a tackle. He pushes forward for the first down. What a run there from Dale Shivers. As he got a third and ten now. Plenty of time for Sean Hill. All the time in the world. He delivers a strike. That's a first and a lot more. There he goes. That's Shivers. Throwing it again. Over the middle. That's intercepted. That's Freddie Funyuns. Freddie Funyuns gets the pick. He jumps the route. And here comes Minnesota. New look Minnesota offense. Really haven't tried to find his receivers yet. Handoff here, and that's a delay give to Mobley. That's going to be a first down. All right, Minnesota now. Has time on the run, and he goes down. Another big sack here for Buffalo. Dan Hackett. Third and 20 now. And another sack, this time off the edge. Billy Grant. I count that's at least five sacks, or four or five sacks at this point. So we got a return now here. That's then Bele. He makes a move. He breaks a tackle. There he goes down the sideline, making up for that fumble early on. So they start out in plus territory, looking good after the Buffalo interception. Throwing it down to Steve. Another pick! Back to back! Sean Hill threw a laser. I thought it was good, but Dennis Luke had other thoughts. And five, can Minnesota keep the drive alive? We've had one touch combined for Jude Abraham and uh, Devin Hester. Clean pocket here. He floats that one, and he hits his man. Devin Hester, 22. Jude, top your screen, one-on-one -on -one with Billy Zoots. And taken off again, sacked again. Marcus Smith goes down. It's Everett. And I honestly can't remember if we've ever had a 0-0 halftime game on a game day. Maybe, was that an offsides? I don't think so. They get that one off, and that was, once again, Dale Shivers making a play. Hand off now. Plenty of time. Sean Hill has all the time in the world. He's just sitting there. This is so much time. Ten. He throws it down the middle. A third pick. Oh, what a disaster. What are we doing? Sean Hill. That is, that is a falling apart moment. John Bailey. Very interesting call here. Fourth and two. They hand it off to Mobley. Can he cut up the field? He breaks one and he goes down. Turnover on downs for Minnesota. 
All right, Sean Hill, three first half interceptions, three consecutive drives, and they've given up no points. The defense has been great, and broken tackle there for Omari Dunn, and a lot more. There goes Omari Dunn down the sideline, and he finally pushed out a big play for the SFA player. Like, out of actual users, not like Alabama. And another big play here, Eric Decker this time. Time's running out here, Shivers out. And they're throwing that deep open, man. Can he get in? No, down at the one. That's CC Schuster. So inside the five, the big nasties on the field. Can we get our first score? It's a fullback dive, and he gets in. Jermaine Bullen. 7 0 Buffalo. To take a two score lead into halftime. The kick is up. It's a it has the distance, and it's good. 55 yards from Blake Foster, and get to halftime. Hand off here for Mobley. He has a little. Oh my! What a hit by Cassius Dreyer to end the half. As Cassius Dreyer creeps up to the line. Triple option again. Here goes Marcus Smith. He has a lot of room down the sideline. First down. Or they can do it again. They bring a blitz, delayed, give Mobley powers for the first down. That was incredible from Mobley. Keeps the drive alive inside the 35. They got a score here on this possession. They find an open man, broken tackle down the sideline, inside the 10. They try to rip it out. Simon Malone for 23. Only three up linebacker, or defensive tackles. Definitely could be a run, it is. Mobley up the gut, touchdown Minnesota. They fight right back. First and 10, how will they respond to that touchdown drive? They hand it off to Shivers here. He has some room. There goes Shivers down the sideline. He hits 15. Let Sean Hill throw that one, get it picked off by Freddie Funyuns again. Third and 10. They've flown this one an open man. That's CC Schuster. First and 10. They're already in field goal range here. They bring a blitz, floats that out wide. That was risky and a nice catch from Mark Beverly. Watch out for the run. Got both Amari Dunn and Dale Shivers here. It's gonna be quick option and they hit Sean Hill in the backfield. Down he goes. Out comes the field goal unit. So here comes the field goal to make it a six point game. This is from left hash. This is only a 35 yarder. Don't need the leg this time from Foster. And right down the middle. Split back set, second and 11. We got triple option, fakes Billy Zoots out of his shoes, and Mobley gets the first down. So Buffalo starting to let up some defensive plays. They haven't had the same kind of pass rush. Rolling left, and he delivers a dot. That's Jason Fisher this time. So can Minnesota find a way to punch this in? Hand it off to Mobley again. He finds the outside, splits it upfield, and he rolls over some guys inside the five. Bit. They continue the run. Mobley up the gut, and touchdown, Minnesota. They find the lead. They find the pie line. That is Mobley's second of the day. The end of the third quarter. Sean Hill, he has time, delivers a strike, and it's another drop here. Where will this game land? We're at the 50-yard line with Buffalo. There's Dale Shivers up the gut. He gets more room. Another first down for Shivers is what they're chanting. First and 10, Sean Hill, high snap. He brings it in on the run, floats across the middle, almost picked. That would have been number four. David Meyer lets it through the hands. Probably fringe, fringe Blake Foster range. I don't know if they'd attempt it from here. All-out blitz for Minnesota over the middle, and it's tipped away. What a call. What an aggressive play from Rick. And what a play by the safety one-on-one. -on -one. If he doesn't make the play, that is a uh, that is a touchdown. And wait a second. Holy punt. Down at the three. Get out of that safety range for the quarterback. But they are going to throw it. This is risky. He's taken off. There goes Marcus Smith. He has some room. And he lowers the head and fights through Cassius Dreyer. First down, Minnesota. Or, but the running has not been great. Smith has time. He yams this one, and he finds his man, Devin Hester. 
but the defense has to show up here. They bring a blitz, gets it over the middle of another first down here. That's Devin Hester working on Billy Zoots. Three on the short side, Hester all by himself. He has a linebacker on him. This is a massive mismatch, top of your screen, and they're not going to yam it. He breaks a tackle, balls on the ground. It's squirting, it's twerting, and they pick it up. Unbelievable play, Marcus Smith puts it in the dirt. 14-13 here, we're under six minutes left. Buffalo is going, and there he is, Marvin Irby making a play in the backfield. Finally gets involved. Third and 13 now, long distance to go here for Buffalo. And Marvin Irby siding yet again, the back-to-back -back for Irby. He gets his first sack of the day. Second and seven. Man in motion, they're gonna run it with Mobley again, and he's brought down by Cassius Dreyer in the backfield. They got him in transfer portal and didn't even know he was a SFA player till this year. <laughs> Third and nine, they're yamming that one, almost picked! Oh my, Martin Watkins! See what they decide to do. Looks like, is this a, we got some uh, Wildcat going. Shivers at quarterback. He's running the ball. He hurdles a man. There goes Shivers. What a play by Dale Shivers. Touchdown, Buffalo. Get a jet sweep here, and that goes nowhere. Boy, broken tackles, and he gets speared. Josh Castillo can't get the first down. He tried his best. He bounced off three different guys, and Martin Watkins brought him down. Split back formation, third and one. They've had success with Mobley. Are they going to go back to it? They're going to throw it here. They find Mobley out of the backfield. Second and three. They're inside the 30 now for Minnesota. And flips that out to Mobley, and he gets the first down despite the big hit from Cassius Dreyer. Minute 33 on the clock here in Buffalo. A massive non-conference game between Rick and Penn. First and 10. For Marcus Smith, man in motion. They're going to hand it to Mobley. He has some room. Mobley up the gut. He gets 10 while winning the game. First and goal. Triple option. He gets the flip out to Hester. And he gets speared. Watkins took Hester's head off. That could have been a turnover. But they're still alive. Second and goal. They're throwing the ball to the end zone. And it's intercepted. Billy Zoots. Zoots does it again! Billy Zoots saves the day for Buffalo! Uh, saved the game with an end zone interception, and he does it again here in season 14. Who needs Armani Campbell? And that's another first down! And as we hit triple zeros here at the University of Buffalo, they come back to win the game on the heels of an epic play from Dale Shivers and Billy Zoots. Coach Pinn survives a masterclass performance and second half adjustments from Coach Rick and the Minnesota Golden Gophers. Buffalo improves to 2-0 as Minnesota will drop to 1-1. Coach Pinn starts out season 14 with an absolute classic. Buffalo wins it 20-14 here, and we'll see you next week, folks.